It is scientifically established that the oldest specimen of winemaking culture were discovered by archaeologists in Georgia and were dated 4-5,000 years BC. The very word wine, Gvino, is of Georgian origin. Later on, the Greeks and the Latins withdrew a hardly pronounceable sound, G, and altered it into vino, and in this form the word became known to the rest of the world. Notwithstanding the centuries-long ordeals that befell Georgia and its people, the Georgians managed to retain the ancient tradition of winemaking, and in contemporary Georgia one will not find a region where the Georgians would not lay out vineyards and make wine. In spite of a great winemaking culture existing in Georgia, few people know about the unique tradition of Georgian sparkling wine production that has more than 130 year history. Sparkling wine production initially originated three centuries ago in France, in Champagne province. Dom Perignon, a Benedictine monk from Hauteviller Abbey, is considered as the first maker of sparkling wine. It is known that the monk, owing to his inquisitiveness and indefatigable ingenuity, for the first time managed to make a naturally carbonated wine by means of still white wine and yeast synthesis. The obtained excellent beverage immediately caught fancy at the French court and in the aristocratic circles and then became widespread in the whole world under the name Champagne. In fact, only the wine made in Champagne province can bear this name. However, sparkling wine made in any other part of the world is mistakenly called Champagne by consumers. In those days, mastering of production of a new kind of wine in Georgia, the cradle land of wine, was just a matter of time. Looking back, it can be said that the Georgians would have inevitably left their unique trace in sparkling wine production. We owe formation of this tradition, like many other good ones, to Bagrationi royal family. Ivane Bagrationi Muhraneli was born in 1812, just the year when his great uncle Petre Bagrationi who had the rank of infantry general and was nicknamed the God of Army by the Russians for his bravery, defeated Napoleon. Ioanne Bagrationi received primary education in his family and then continued studies in the elite military school from which he successfully graduated in 1830. After that, he was enlisted in the Nizhny Novgorod Dragoon Legion. Owing to his bravery and military talent, which were the family's tradition, he made himself an excellent military career. It is known that from early age, Ivane Bagrationi was keen on winemaking and agriculture, revival and development of which was considered by him as a great patriotic cause. By that time, the lands, which 300 years earlier had been granted by King David X to his brother Bagrat, were mostly divided. Ivane Bagrationi started to buy out and unite them. He gradually recovered historical lands of Muhrani princes and set up a large farmstead, the main specialization of which was viticulture. In 1881, Ivane Bagrationi Muhraneli, at his own request, was transferred to the reserve and directed all his efforts towards agriculture. According to the retained data, in 1884, the income of this farmstead made up 224,700 rubles. In 1886, about 50,000 pails of wine were stored in its cellars. The farmstead had vineyards in Tbilisi, Gori and Dusheti districts. In Zedganidze Manor, as well as in such villages as Muhrani, Dampalo, Tsalisi, Kurisubani, Sapurzle, Chongilari, Okami, Nakulbakeri, Tihomi, Vedzisi, Nichbisi, and Handaki. The main wine storages were in Muhrani and Tihomi. In the palace built in Muhrani, there was a winery and a cellar where about 100,000 pails of wine could be stored. The first section of the cellar contained 10 pitchers in which wine was produced by the Georgian method. 
while in the remaining three sections there were devices being necessary for production of wine in accordance with the European method, such as wine purification appliances, touch filters, etc. There was also a laboratory attached to the chief winemaker's house. Wines made in accordance with the European method were exported to Russia and Poland. It is known that all over the world sparkling wine is mainly produced of four European sorts of grapes. These are Chardonnay, Pinot, Aligoté and Riesling. With the purpose of sparkling wine production, Ivane Bagrationi decided to select Georgian grape varieties having appropriate acidity. He made the choice in favor of two sorts from Eastern Georgia and two from Western Georgia. These are respectively Cinebuli and Gorulim Tsuane, Tsitska and Solikauri. That is why the Georgian sparkling wine has an original taste and aroma that distinguishes it from the ones being produced in any other part of the world. Such originality is a result of Ivane Bagrationi's selection talent. At Moscow International Exhibition held in 1882, Mukhranelli's sparkling wine was awarded the highest prize, the national emblem. In 1890s, the farmstead was the largest in the Caucasus in terms of production of still and sparkling wines. Ivane Bagrationi Mukhranelli died in 1895. He is buried in Svetitskoveli. A famous Georgian company, Bagrationi 8082, bears the name of Ivane Bagrationi, the originator of Georgian sparkling wine production. The company's produce is a result of synthesis of the Georgian sparkling wine production traditions and modern technologies. It should be mentioned that production of Georgian sparkling wines gained a powerful impetus in the Soviet period. During the visit of the Soviet Foreign Minister Vyacheslav Molotov to Germany, the Minister for Foreign Affairs Joachim von Ribbentrop invited him to a famous Henkel factory of sparkling wines. The factory made a deep impression on Molotov and upon his return he told Joseph Stalin about it. As a result, a decision to construct a large factory of sparkling wines in Tbilisi was made. The construction of the so-called Tbilisi factory of champagne wines was completed in 1937, after which a large-scale production of the Georgian sparkling wine was launched. The production reached its peak in 1980s. By that time, the factory produced 24 million bottles a year, of which 3 million were produced by the traditional bottle fermentation method and 21 million by the Charmat or tank fermentation method. The factory's output was produced under the standard brand name Soviet Champagne and satisfied 15% of the Soviet market's demand. Disintegration of the Soviet Union entailed suspension of production at the state-owned enterprise and it escaped plunder and ruin thanks to the efforts of its then-management. In 1997, an American investment fund purchased a majority share from the state at a public auction. Bagrationi, Royal Family Traditions. Initial investments in equipment were made. First sales were carried out both in Georgia and abroad. As a result of the embargo imposed by Russia against Georgia in 2006, the company's production received another hard blow, since by that time two-thirds of its sales fell on Russia. 